How's it going everyone? It's Ben Falcons Media Corner back again with a brand new video for today. Welcome back to another movie review, aka Alpha Assault. This time for this new episode for the series is going to be my review on the 2023 musical fantasy film, and that is Wonka. Now, this is directed by Paul King, who you may know him as the director of films such as Paddington and Paddington 2, two phenomenal family films. And this film is basically an origin story of Willy Wonka, in which in this film he's portrayed by Timothy Chalamet. And the story of the film is that with dreams of opening a shop in a city re-owned for his chocolate, a young and poor Willy Wonka discovers that the industry is run by a cartel of greedy chocolatiers. So that's pretty much the story of Wonka. Now, when it comes to the original film, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, you know, what hasn't been said, it is such an iconic classic that everyone grew up with when they were kids. It is one of my all-time favorite family films, and it is still to this day my favorite um, Roald Dahl adaptation for the screen. And as for the second film adaptation that we got of that story, which came out back in 2005, which was, of course, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, which was directed by Tim Burton, starring Johnny Depp. Um, I enjoyed that one as well, although I do much prefer the original film over that film, but it is still a good film, nonetheless, though. So when I heard we were getting a movie about Willy Wonka's origins, like his backstory, I was really intrigued to see what this film was going to do here. And I was even more surprised, like who was going to be involved with this film, like who was going to be directing and who was going to be starring in it. In which, for the stars of this film, like this film has a huge cast of well-known actors. In which, in this film, you've got Timothy Chalamet, Olivia Colman, Keegan Michael Key, Patterson Joseph, Matthew Baton. Um, Matt Lucas, Sally Hawkins, Rowan Atkinson, and Hugh Grant. I was really intrigued to see what all these actors were going to do for this um, origin story of Willy Wonka. And I was even more surprised that um, Paul King was going to be directing this film. Which, When it comes to Paul King as a filmmaker, I think he's definitely become a really good filmmaker in, in the most recent years because he has directed two phenomenal family films, which were, of course, Paddington and Paddington 2, which both of those movies I really, really love. Like, the first film really surprised me because I went to that film with um, low expectations and I surprised I had a really great time in that film and as for the second movie I love that one a lot more than the first film and it's one of the best like family sequels I've seen and it is one of the best sequels I've ever seen in the most recent years and all of that so I was really intrigued to see what he was going to do for the same origin story of Willy Wonka here and once I saw the trailers for this film I, I just Im immediately got like, really excited for this movie here and I went to see this film on opening day in the UK, which it came out on the 8th of December. Well, it came out uh, just a few days ago in the US, which came out on the 15th of December. Uh, but like I said, I just saw this on the, I saw this on the 8th of December this year in a really big screening with a fair amount of people in it. And after watching this whole movie here, I can definitely tell you guys that I had a really great time with Wonka here. I thought this was overall a really great prequel to one of the most iconic family films of all time here. The things that I loved about Wonka was the story, in which I thought the overall storytelling for this film was really great here through the whole origin story of Willy Wonka, in which he's basically this guy who wants to follow his dreams of where he wants to run a shop, where he wants to just give all the joy to the people by giving them chocolate, which I found it really fascinating here, and yet this film does represent some heartwarming moments of its story where we see Wonka's relationship with this young girl named Noodle, which I thought those moments were just genuinely touching and yeah, really heartwarming. And yeah, they did pull me. There was some. There, there was some moments that did pull me heartstrings while I was watching the film here. And this film does also kind of play out like a Prison Break film where there are some like darker moments in the film here and all that, which I thought those moments were very intriguing. Although I kind of wish some of the there were. I kind of wish there were. There could have been a little bit more of like darker moments in the film here, but there was still a good amount of them nonetheless though. And as for the direction by Paul King and the cinematography for this film, it is absolutely gorgeous here through the sets, the costumes, and the musical numbers, which I thought the musical numbers here for this film were just a lot of fun here. Like they were so joyful and just overall just amazing here. And the songs in the film were absolutely great here. Like I really enjoyed the songs here through the, throughout the film here. And this film does has a bit of CGI moments here and there and all that, which I thought some of the CGI moments in the film here were pretty solid here, although there were some times where the CGI can be a little bit noticeable and all that, which that's another issue I did have with this film here. But still, though, there's a good amount of like CGI here and there in this film that were, that I thought were pretty solid here in this film. And as for the acting in the film, everyone in this film was just generally fantastic here. Like Timothy Chalamet as Wonka, he is, of course, terrific in the film here. Like he's, 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 he's just so joyful in the film. And yeah, he is really entertaining in the movie here. And uh, Kayla Lane, who plays Noodle, this young girl who interacts with Wonka throughout the film here, 
um, she was great as well and her chemistry with Wonka like I said it is just generally heartwarming here and you've got Patterson Joseph and Matthew Baton and Matt Lucas who play these three like evil greedy chocolatiers who want to get rid of Wonka for good uh, they were really good and yeah really entertaining in the movie here through some humorous moments that they provide here and then this film like there's one of them who doesn't like the word porn and, 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 and if anyone says that word he just tends to vomit which that is just really funny and you've got as well in the film Olivia Coleman, Keegan Michael Key, Rowan Atkinson, and Hugh Grant. I thought they were all really great. And as for everyone else, they were just generally really great and yet yeah, really entertaining in the movie here. And as for the humor in this film, the humor in this film was just generally really lovable and yet yeah, really entertaining here. Like through like most of the comedy moments throughout this film here, I just generally couldn't stop laughing my ass off when I was watching this film here. And the film's also really well paced as well, even though it's under two hours because this film is only on for an hour and 56 minutes but the film just plays out so smoothly once the film has just started and all that and it just manages to get straight to the point right away once it just starts and all that so overall in the end guys Wonka I thought this was generally overall a great prequel to one of the to one of the most iconic family films of all time and if you're a fan of either the original film or the 2005 film or you're overall a huge fan of the book or if you're a fan of any of the cast or the director Paul King this is definitely one you don't want to miss out for yourselves yeah, and this is definitely a really great treat for the family here so that's pretty much all I have to say about Wonka. I'm going to give Wonka 4 out of 5. Like I said before, this was indeed a really great prequel to one of the most iconic family films of all time. This, and despite having a few issues with the film here, I still have managed to have myself a really great sweet time with this uh, prequel here. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching my AK after I saw you on Wonka. And let me know what you think of this movie if you have seen this already or if just recently check out this film. Did you have a really great time with this or was it really a popcorn treat? As always, thank you guys so much for watching and this has been Foggins Media Corner signing off.